everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelly, and if you are new here, thanks for being here. Thanks for subscribing if you've newly subscribed. And if you want to learn more about me, there's tons of videos that can tell you more about me because I don't have a catchy little slogan for the intro yet. Today we are talking about Disney and where I get my Disney gear. Because some of us don't live next to Disneyland anymore and can't get there all the time to pick up all the Disney gear. Plus, Disney has done great licensing lately, which means that a lot of really great brands are creating really great Disney things. Beyond licensing, there are a lot of other really creative people and brands out there making really awesome Disney-inspired stuff, and I want to talk about it. So I have a lot of stuff to show you, and ready, set, go, let's get going. So all the things I'm going through first are Disney um, collaboration or Disney licensed products. I will have stuff for both men and women starting with the first item I have which is actually a unisex thing and it is the Vans 101 Dalmatian shoes. Vans recently announced new shoes for Toy Story and if you haven't seen them yet they're super cute. I will leave a link below. They're awesome. In this house we are big Vans fans and who doesn't want some Vans with some Disney stuff on them? We got these ones on ASOS on sale Thank you. And these are Tom's. He has not worn them yet, hence why the tag is on there and the shoelaces haven't been undone. He's kind of iffy on wearing them yet, simply because he doesn't want to get them dirty and look how great they are. The only thing I wish that these had were colored collars to give a little bit more blue in there, but that's it. These are really, really cute and they have lots of different other styles. Now with the new Toy Story, but they've also got Minnie and Mickey and I don't know all the other ones, but they're awesome. So definitely check it out if you're looking for some Vans shoes, or just, I'm sorry, if you're looking for some Disney shoes, Vans has awesome ones. Also, I just learned that Keds has Disney range. I'm a big Keds wear, so I will be looking to be purchasing some Disney Keds very, very soon. They've got some cute mini ones. So I'm sure you probably already know, and this is great for people living in the States and not so great for people living uh, outside of the States, but Hot Topic does really cool Disney stuff. And more recently they came out with a line of tank tops and shirts and leggings. This is actually, when I say recently, these have been, I've had these for like three or four years now, but that's still recent. Um, and so Hot Topic has some really cool stuff. I have this Peter Pan tank top, these Peter Pan leggings, and these Sleeping Beauty leggings. I love wearing these really colorful leggings under like a black dress and some boots and they just pop and I love wearing them. The leggings are a polyester spandex blend so they will stretch a bit but they're not the most forgiving. Uh, and I have a big booty and so it's not always the greatest option so I like to wear a long skirt or dress and if it's iffy I will wear shorts over the top because we don't need that. I definitely feel like a badass when I have some Maleficent up my leg. The next place that we found a lot of success buying items for Disney was Uniqlo. Um, I will leave the link below and I'll leave the link if I can find any specific products but I'll probably like brand links. Earlier this year when we went to Disneyland Paris, we needed some longer layers because it was cold. And we found this um, mini Mickey print long sleeve shirt, which Tom, this is Tom's, Tom wears this underneath uh, another shirt. He did wear it as a, just by itself as a shirt, but it's one of those, it's not long john material, but it is meant to be worn underneath something else as a layer. But with this nice Mickey print, it is real subtle and really fun. We really like it, and Tom is really excited to have it. Also from Uniqlo, we got socks, because Tom is a big sock fan, so we got two different kinds of Mickey socks. These ones have a sort of bashful Mickey and these ones are quite cute and subtle with little stripes and Mickey heads. I do not have anything myself from Uniqlo, but Uniqlo does have things for men and women, so definitely check it out if you're wanting some different kind of stuff. Also, for a really good price. I think that shirt was like eight dollars? Pounds? It was really good price. Another great place to go for Disney stuff is actually H&M. We found quite a few men's things there. We haven't found some great women's things, or at least not women's Disney things in my personal taste, but we have found a lot of things for men, including this red shirt which Tom picked up, well, we picked up. It's got different types of Mickey emotions, 
H&M is also super cheap and has some great stuff. We also picked this shirt up right before we went to Disneyland Paris and we will definitely be taking it with us when we go to Disneyland California later. Not this year. Early next year. One thing really fun that you cannot get at the parks, or at least I have never seen these at the parks, are another one of the Disney licensing or partnership items. Um, and we collect them. And they are the pop vinyl figures. We have... This isn't even all of them. This one was limited edition and we picked it up at Hot Topic. I don't know where we got that one. My brother and sister-in-law sent me this one and Minnie. And this one we picked up online for Tom's birthday. We do have a lot more uh, pop vinyl figures, both Disney and non-Disney. One other one we have are the Star Wars ones. This is mine. You can pick up pop vinyl figures all over the place. Hot Topic always has them. Lots of mall shops have them. If you are in the UK, Forbidden Planet is a great place to go for your pop vinyl figures. And we are trying to get the whole collection, including Peter Pan. The elusive Peter Pan that costs like $50 on eBay. I want one! If you are in the States, a great place to go is Target. Target has always had a lot of really different cool Disney stuff. Some things that we have on hand right now are this Star Wars jumper. It's a Christmas print jumper. We picked this up a year ago? Two years ago? I don't know. We also picked up Mickey Mouse band-aids. No, this was last Christmas we picked these up and we probably picked up a sweater as well, but I could be wrong I'm probably wrong. I think we got that two years ago Target is a lot better for kids clothes than adult clothes, but there are a few Adult shirts that are quite cute. So if you are in the States Always go to Target because Target is great. Dollar stores are also another great place to find stuff on the cheap I picked up this little BB-8 box, lunch box. I use it for dog treats, um, and Tob is staring at me now, because he knows. You can pick up all sorts of really popular Disney stuff at the dollar store. Right now, there's tons of Frozen and tons of Star Wars, topical, I know. We have a theme here of picking stuff up on slightly the cheap, so another place you can go in the UK is Primark. I know. Primark has lots of stuff, not just pajamas. We picked up this chewy shirt last Christmas. It was a Christmas gift for Tom from me. And for Christmas we picked up this Christmas sweater. I have this Bambi Christmas sweater with a little bit of holly or mistletoe up top. It is cozy and warm and cute. Um, it's a really decent quality. Nothing's falling apart. We've got some dust up here but that's totally my fault. Bambi's super cute. Primark is great for Christmas jumpers and great for Disney. There's so much. I was just in there a few weeks ago and they had so many sweaters and so many shirts. I wanted to buy a lot of things, but I resisted until later and then I will be buying a lot of the Disney things. So I've mentioned a bit of Star Wars and I have a lot of Star Wars. Now we could get really fussy about the whole Star Wars Disney thing, but you know what? Disney owns Star Wars, so I'm gonna put it in the video. One place we really like to go is a website called Tea Fury. If you don't know about Tea Fury, basically it's a place where all of the nerdy things collide and people can create designs and submit designs that are a blending of different genres. So we have two shirts from T Fury. This one is an old faded Boba Fett logo label type thing. And this second one is actually quite cute. Do we have two of these? We have two of these. Tom has one and I have one. This is where Star Wars meets Calvin and Hobbes. If you have never been to T Fury and are looking for some quirky shirts, definitely check it out. Toronto. The shirts that they put up there are only available for a very specific window of time and then that's it, they're gone. If you are looking for some really girly Star Wars outfits, I absolutely recommend checking out Her Universe. Her Universe does not do many Disney branded items, but they do do a lot of awesome sci-fi inspired wear. I got this dress from Her Universe a few years ago. It is an empire waist with Star Wars winter type print. Fits great, it's a great quality, it's just a cotton dress and I really like it. The stuff on her universe guys is so great. If you have not seen her universe you have to check it out. One of my other favorite nerd culture sites where you can get a lot of Star Wars stuff is Think Geek. And we got these Star Wars socks from it. We've got R2 and then we've got more R2 socks. And to continue with the Star Wars, I could make a whole freaking video about Star Wars. I won these socks. These are from a company called Stance. 
I don't know where you can find them, but I will do my best to figure it out. I got these from an old job. And I've got Leia and Yoda and some Vader socks. These are really cool. I really like them. They're really tall and they're really defined, I guess, in the design. There is no guessing what that is. I just think they're really well designed and I really like them. The last thing I have for Disney branded or Disney licensed items are Lego. Guess whose is whose? You would be probably wrong. These ones are mine and these ones are Tom's. These are available now at all Lego stores, if not definitely most Lego stores, if not all Lego stores. And they come in, um, it's like three pounds or three dollars depending where you are for a little bag and you get a little Lego figure. So they come in these secret bags, right? And you don't know what you're gonna get, so you could get a lot of the same things and that's probably what you're gonna do. But a lot of people who work at the store, including one of the Lego stores in Brighton, figured it out. They spent so much time feeling these bags and feeling around and trying to figure out what was in them that most people who work at the Lego stores could help you find the exact item you're looking for. We spent a really long time feeling the bags around to try and find the pieces that we wanted and they were totally right and we got exactly what we wanted. I would love to have the whole collection at some point. Now let's move on to the last bit, the Disney inspired items. I have I think three stores to talk about. The first one is a great store with an online shop called Who's It's and What's It's. I don't have that much from Who's It's and What's It's yet, but I do have a bit. And the first thing I have is jewelry. I will be able to link all of these items below because they are still available. The first piece I have is this cute little acorn necklace. As in Peter Pan's acorn f kiss necklace. If you hadn't figured it out yet, I am a huge Peter Pan fan and Tom bought me this necklace not that long ago. I don't remember if it was for Christmas or a birthday, but it doesn't matter because I love it either way. The other piece of jewelry I have is a Brave inspired bracelet. Now the first one I had of these actually broke, but Who's It's and What's It's are fantastic people. They actually shipped me a new one and I just had to pay for the shipping and that was super, super kind of them. Who's This and What's It have lots of really, really cool jewelry. They have found and put together some really, really cool necklaces. They also have shirts and they have hats. Tom and I have these two hats. This is Peter Pan's hat and his shadow. These are both beanies. Uh, mine's a bit stretched out, but I have a big head. Because I am such a fan of the gray and the kind of weirder. I got Peter Pan's shadow and Tom got Peter Pan's regular hat. We wore these all around Disneyland Paris, including when we met Peter Pan, and they're really great. So I definitely recommend checking out Who's This and What's It's. They also just came out with a new line of shirts and I really want the 100 acre wood tourist shirt. It's really nice and I want it. There are two other places I want to talk about but I actually don't have things from them yet. They are both Etsy stores. The first one is called Bibbidi Bobbidi Bands. Bibbidi Bobbidi Bands specializes in custom made Disney products, especially custom ears. They do also do hand painted shoes, but my sister has a few of their custom ears and they're kind of, they're not outrageous, but they're a little bit more out there. They are sparkly, they are sequined, they light up. My sister has the tangled ones and they are sparkly, they light up, they have flowers. <sighs> they're so great. And I really want to get some because they are very well made, they're really beautiful, and it's just really fun to have really cool ears when you're in the park. I only have classic ears, like I have a lot of different really cool classic ears, but I want to get some, I want to get some bibbidi bobbidi bands. The very last shop I want to talk about is a shop on Etsy that is owned by a friend of mine. Radcliffe Dolls and this gal Jamie makes the most adorable little dolls you've maybe ever seen. They're so cute and precious and I have seen them in person. She lives in Idaho but I saw her this past Christmas and got to check out all of her dolls. I will share some of her pictures and leave a link below but she does really cute little girl dolls and little animals. She started out doing little triceratops and oh my goodness, I need a Triceratops. She has also done, and will maybe still do, some custom orders of Disney inspired dolls. I have two in mind that I desperately want her to make because I think that she will do a really epic, 
cute, amazing job pulling off this vision I have that I'm not gonna share because it's a secret and I don't want anyone else to take it before I can get it. Having Jamie make some custom dolls for us and pick up one of those Triceratops is on the top of our list of things to get as soon as we can. Definitely check her out and her cute dolls and if you want some Disney stuff, send her a message and I'm sure you might be able to work something out. The dolls are great, she is a great person, check out Radcliffe Dolls. That's all I have for you today. Lots and lots of Disney products that you can get outside of the parks because sometimes we can't get to the parks and sometimes there are other people out there who are making really, really cool stuff. If you like to shop at other places or you know some really cool online shops that I didn't talk about, definitely leave a comment below and let us all know. I would love to check out more shops. Give it a thumbs up if you liked this video and I will see you later. Bye! Actually, the first thing we did end up buying were our ears. Should I wear these for the whole video? Maybe. No, you can't see them. <laughs>